In this video I'm going to show you how to create an online delivery request form to give to the vendors that you're serving as your customers. So what we're going to do is click on this drop down menu in the top right hand corner and click on vendors just beneath the dispatches menu we used in the last video and we'll come to this vendors page for your company and so far we don't have any vendors in the list when you set up a new account so we'll click the add vendor button so we'll give it a name I'm going to create a restaurant called Andrews Pizza and we're going to set the physical address for this vendor um, let's call this I'll just give it a kind of vague address in High Wycom in Western Australia close to where I am here then we're going to pick a dispatcher. So if you haven't watched the previous video yet on what a dispatcher is and how to make it, I suggest you watch it first. But just briefly to refresh your memory, a dispatcher is going to be a set of policies that determine which drivers are going to be offered the delivery under what conditions, automatically of course, um, and you can pick a particular dispatcher for each restaurant. So um, this will determine, say, uh, as soon as it's created, a particular group of drivers are going to get offered that job straight away. First person to accept it gets it. If none of them accept it, then you get a second policy to add to the number of drivers who are offered the job, uh, and so on and so forth, until someone takes the job. The prep time is going to be how long after uh, how long after the request comes through, the restaurant actually wants it to be picked up, or the vendor wants the 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 parcel or food or whatever it is to be picked up. So we'll put something in and then the delivery time is your actual KPI. Um, once you have that, that pickup time, how long do you have to deliver it? So the actual deliver by time is going to be set to the current time upon creation plus the prep time plus the delivery time. So in this case 90 minutes after creation is going to be set to deliver by time. So we'll click save and uh, what that's going to do is create a vendor in the system and create a unique URL that you can provide to that vendor. So if I copy that to the clipboard, come over here to this other uh, window I've got open and copy and paste in this URL, you can see this is a delivery request form that's going to get given to um, your client. So just come back to the main spatula page here and try and even this up and I'll create a job as Andrew's Pizza Use my phone number, Andrew delivering to Andrew. Uh, the address is going to be, you know, my home street here in High Wycom. And some delivery instructions. Pick the payment method. Pick whether or not there's any cash to collect. Edit the prep time if they want to, but they can just leave it as the default since that's what you negotiated with them in the first place. And click submit. That's going to automatically create the job in your spatula account and it's going to start offering the job to your drivers based on the dispatch rules that are associated with the dispatcher that you selected. So there you go, we've set up a vendor, uh, we've set up a dispatcher in the previous video that we then applied to this particular vendor. Could be a different dispatcher for each one of your vendors, but um, or it could be the same one, but it really doesn't matter. And you are ready to go to provide uh, online delivery request forms to your customers and have those delivery requests automatically sent through to your team in whatever autonomous way that you want to set up. If you've got any questions, please send them through, otherwise I'll see you in another video.